Welcome to today's show. I'm your host, Mike Slinker. This week, we're hunting America's most popular game animal, the white-tailed deer. And in the process, we're going to show you once again how the hex advantage can change the game when you're hunting these incredible animals. We'll be after wild, free-range deer with archery gear, and we're going to go to some pretty extreme lengths to show you just how effective hex technology can be. This is an exciting episode, and it's all coming up next. And as always, we're going to show it all just like it happened right here on Hunting with Hacks. Hunting is about getting close. Really close. Get closer than you ever thought was possible. When you have a cameraman and you setting out in a dirt field like this, you can get away with so much with this hex on. I've got to give credit once again to Hex. We showcase the science of getting close right here on Hunting with Hex. Hunting with Hex is brought to you by PSE Archery. Tough Country, American values forged in steel. Ozonics, undetectable, undeniable. Victory Archery, the carbon arrow experts. Nocturnal lighted knocks, illumination that lasts for 20 plus hours. Rocky Mountain hunting calls, we call the game. Tacticam, share your hunt. Warren Winches, trophy properties in auction. And Hex Stealth Screen, the evolution of concealment. On this first hunt, we're in Montana with my good friend John Dudley. You know, we've featured John on the show many times, and he's a firm believer in hex technology. On this hunt, John took some time away from the helm of the incredibly popular Knock On Nation to pursue whitetails in the river bottoms of Montana. Got a good buck coming around this way. Well, this buck is coming in the opposite from where John expected it to come from. So he has to do a lot of moving around and unzip more windows in order to get on this buck. Yet, like we've seen over and over wearing Hex technology, this deer has absolutely no idea that John is getting ready to release one of his famous death missiles in his direction. Well, that was quite the shuffle. We had a white tail in this field coming all the way around. Tried to unzip the back window, and then he cleared the back window. So I eased down the front window, and I had to, we had to shuffle around in here. I drew back, came through, I made my shot, and right here, top of my cam, hit the blind, kind of dropped me down, but I still think I clipped the bottom of the heart. He went off. I could see it's just a, just a touch low, but dude, that's freaking awesome. What an awesome deer. This is a gorgeous buck. He's an, he's an older deer. He's a full body deer, but some of the Western bucks just, they don't have the genetics, honestly, like you do in Iowa, but I am tickled pink because to me, these big western whitetails just are so awesome on the grill. And this is a cool buck, probably an awesome buck uh, to take too. Genetically, he's never gonna really amount to much from an antler point of view, but from a bow hunter's satisfaction point of view, this couldn't be more rewarding. The original hex suit is very lightweight, breathable, and versatile enough to be used in almost any hunting situation. The hex systems consist of three pieces. These essential pieces include a hex pant, hex top, and hex head cover. You may use any combination of appropriate hex products to achieve the goal of covering as much of your body as possible with hex technology. All Hex hunting products are now available in our new Hex Style Anywhere and Hex Style Green digital camo patterns to match any terrain. The material features a highly electrically conductive carbon grid woven into the polyester base cloth. The grid 
blocks your body's electrical field. The suit is designed to be worn under your regular camo or over the top as an outer layer. The technology is effective either way. The original pants are cut similar to sweatpants with an elastic waistband, elastic cuffs on the bottom, side pockets, and a convenient fly. The pullover shirt features thumb holes, serge stitching, and an embroidered logo. The head cover has a hemmed eye hole, adjustable drawstring in the back, and is very easy to use. Additional accessories are sold separately and include the hex hat, our versatile multi-rag that can be worn in a variety of ways, camo gloves made of a lightweight, stretchy material in matching camo, and a heavy weight over the calf sock. And of course, all of the accessories have the hex grid woven right in. Order right now and use the promo code to save $30 on your order of a complete hex suit. Visit our website to learn more about our full line of clothing and accessories, as well as our fit guarantee for worry-free ordering. We'll be back with some unbelievable encounters right after this. Welcome back to Hunting with Hex. This week is all about whitetails. We started in the river bottoms of Montana where John Dudley took a nice buck with his bow. Now, let's catch up with host Mike Slinkert and see where we're headed next. Now we're headed to Buffalo Creek Lodge in Oklahoma. Joel Alexander runs a great whitetail operation that spans both Oklahoma and into Texas for free-range whitetails, and it's really affordable as well. This is a semi-guided hunt where Joel drops you off at your stand and picks you up, but the rest of the hunt is up to you. The lodge is super comfortable, and it's an enjoyable place to hunt. I'm here along with my good friend Randy Peck and we're both hunting with our PSC bows and hope to have some late season encounters with some hard hunted bucks. Well, Joel has dozens of comfortable stands and blinds scattered across thousands of acres and he already had some good areas picked out that he thought we should try. But when I told him I wanted to sit on the ground without a blind, I could see he thought I was just a little bit crazy. But he was familiar with what Hex technology was capable of from other hunters that he's had in the past. So he was happy to accommodate my admittedly odd request. And he showed me areas where the deer traveled through and left the rest up to me. It wasn't long before I noticed a skunk moving along a dry creek bed. You know, it had moved on through and I'd pretty much forgot about it. But then I noticed it was coming up right behind me. You know, Hex works on all kinds of animals, but I can't say that I'd ever tried it on a skunk before. Well, the skunk worked its way right up to the back of my chair, and as it approached my backpack, you can see it's getting a solid nose full of my scent. Even with my fresh scent in the area, it has no idea that I'm actually still there, only inches away. I decided not to push my luck and risk sleeping out on the porch the first night at camp, so I sat quietly and watched him go about his business, none the wiser to my presence. You know, I've seen this sort of behavior with so many animals over the years that I've come to expect them to totally ignore me, and this skunk was no exception. With the skunk out of the way, I soon noticed a couple small bucks headed my way. Well, neither of these deer are really what I'm looking for, but they'll still be good indicators of how deer moving past will react to my presence sitting there in the open at close range. Just as I expected, they totally ignore me and go on about their business as usual. A few minutes later, I noticed that they became worried about something that was across the draw, and eventually they ran. Soon, I saw that it was a big coyote that had spooked them. You know, we've seen some pretty impressive results wearing hex technology with predators in the past, so I really wasn't surprised when it popped out right in front of me to look the area over. Both my cameraman and I are on the ground at 15 steps, and this coyote really takes his time to check out the area, yet he remains totally oblivious to our presence. When he moved out into the clear, only steps away, I was able to draw my bow and make the shot. This is an absolute 100% hex moment for certain. 
As we know, coyotes are notoriously wary, especially with any unnatural object or movement. Yet, you just saw it check us out at point blank range and dismiss us as nothing to worry about. Then, at just over 10 steps, it allowed me to come to full draw. As we know from recent scientific research, that like birds, canines actually see electrical impulses from living movement. So by blocking my emissions with hex technology, the coyote just doesn't react to my movement, even when it's right beside him. As a result, Joel has one less coyote to worry about. Brand new to the Hex lineup is our ultra lightweight outerwear pants. These will be the most comfortable hunting pants you will ever wear. And of course, they have the Hex patented technology woven right in. They feature a super comfortable action cut, quiet fabric, ample pocket space, and a zippered leg pocket for your Hex accessories or your cell phone. This is a high quality pant that replaces the need for an additional hex layer in order to get the full hex advantage. They come in both hex style anywhere and hex style green camo, as well as an olive brown. Paired with any hex top and head cover, you will have complete hex coverage for your next hunt. This will be our best selling product for 2022, so act quickly while supplies last. The close encounters continue right after this quick break. Welcome back to Hunting with Hacks. We're chasing whitetails this week and the crew is having some great encounters. Now, let's rejoin the hunt. Our days at Buffalo Creek Lodge flew by and we changed stands several times as dictated by the wind. In each location, both Randy Peck and I were able to get super close to whitetails moving past our location and we each had several close encounters, but so far no shots at a good buck. But my buddy Randy was about to turn that all around. Due to a wind change, Randy had to leave the spot where he had been sitting on the ground and move into a tree stand. It wasn't long before he had deer moving all around him. Well, he spotted a wide, heavy eight point hanging around the edges of the area. It was obviously an older deer, and there's no telling how many hunters this deer has eluded this season and over the past years. He's super cautious and really taking his time to check everything out before he comes in. Randy's soon covered up in deer and his hex system is working overtime, keeping his presence concealed from the deer that are all around him. Every time a smaller deer would jump, the big buck would move off, but then after a few minutes, he'd calm down and move right back in. Well, it was that old cat and mouse game and Randy knew that he had to be patient. It wasn't long before his patience paid off. Our time at Buffalo Creek quickly ticked by and before we knew it, it was the last day of the hunt. I actually had had a buck and a doe tag, but I'd been holding off on tagging does even though I'd had multiple opportunities. Now it was my last chance to put some venison in the freezer and that morning I'm back in the draw where I shot the big coyote a few days before. When these two does showed up at close range, I decided to take one home. time because the hit was back but as you can probably hear the wind really came up um, but uh, you know she went about 400 yards that's what you do with a marginal hit you give them time that's what we did 400 yards here she is but the big thing for me was that hex experience again sitting out there no blind no tree stand and as you saw those deer didn't even give us a glance I was able to get the full draw and this deer still had her head down when I released that arrow so uh, Again, a great hex experience and some awesome, awesome whitetail for the freezer, and that's what it's all about. Our most popular hex system is our base layer. The base layer is a lightweight, semi-thermal material designed to be worn under your regular hunting clothing or over the top. It comes in the original olive green, 
as well as our new Hex Style Anywhere and Hex Style Green digital camo patterns to match any terrain. The material features a highly electrically conductive carbon grid woven into the polyester-based cloth. The grid blocks your body's electrical field. The suit is designed to be worn under your regular camo or over the top as an outer layer. The technology is effective either way. All complete hex systems include three pieces. These essential pieces include a hex pant, hex top, and hex head cover. You may use any combination of appropriate hex products to achieve the goal of covering as much of your body as possible with hex technology. The shirt is a quarter zip Henley with rugged serge stitching, embroidered hex logo, and thumb holes. The form-fitting pants have rugged serge stitching throughout and the heavy elastic waistband and cuff ensure they stay in place. They also feature a convenient fly. The head cover has a hemmed eye hole, adjustable drawstring in the back, and is very easy to use. Additional accessories are sold separately and include the hex hat, our versatile multi-rag that can be worn in a variety of ways, camo gloves made of a lightweight, stretchy material in matching camo, and a heavy weight over the calf sock. And of course, all of the accessories have the hex grid woven right in. Order right now and use the promo code to save $30 on your order of a complete hex suit. Visit our website to learn more about our full line of clothing and accessories, as well as our fit guarantee for worry-free ordering. We'll see if Mike can pull it all together right after this. Welcome back to Hunting with Hex. It's been an exciting week chasing whitetails. First in Montana with John Dudley, then on to Oklahoma with the Hex crew. Time is winding down and host Mike Slinkert still has a tag burning a hole in his pocket. Well, I'm down to the last day of the hunt in Oklahoma and I take in a nice doe that morning in my favorite draw. Unfortunately, the wind really picked up during midday and my little draw wasn't gonna be an option for that evening. After a brainstorming session with Joel, he suggested that we try to set in a deeper draw with plenty of cover that might offer some protection from the wind for my last night of the trip. Well, it turned out to be an ideal setting for the ground with plenty of tall grass and thick bedding cover in the area. I was feeling pretty confident as I got my chair set up and cleared some shooting lanes for my last night's sit. Well, the wind was still kicking out pretty good, but it wasn't long before I could see deer moving around in the brush in front of me. A few minutes later, I had a nice doe right in front of me. Well, she's almost in my lap here, so anyone who is wondering how well Hex works on whitetails, I guess you have your answer. This deer is unbelievably close and totally clueless to my presence. Well, a minute later, I spotted a decent buck coming in from the left, but just as the buck came to a stop in front of me, I spotted a bigger buck coming in from the back. You know, these deer are literally on top of me, but I decided to let it all play out and wait on that bigger buck to get into range. Well, as he got closer, I could see that he was limping and his rack was all broke off from running hard earlier in the season. But at this point, being the last evening of the hunt, I really didn't care. As I waited for him to come closer and closer, more and more deer just kept pouring in from the surrounding area. Not only am I trying to get away with sitting on a chair in the wide open just steps away from free range whitetails, but then I also have to try to draw and shoot while they're standing there. Just then, I see the wind start dying down and it's starting to get swirly. I saw one of the does start to get antsy, so I knew it was a matter of seconds before the whole group would likely get my wind and my season would be over. When the bigger buck lifted his nose and moved to my left, I knew it was now or never, and I started to draw my bow. But in a flat-out rookie move, I accidentally touched my release, and it fired just as I put tension on the string. This resulted in an audible twang, and my arrow launched only a couple of yards towards the deer. They jumped, but instead of scattering like a bunch of quail, they stopped to try to figure out what had just happened. The smaller buck even walked right back in, 
blast my way, then dismiss me, my cameraman, and the entire incident. If you aren't convinced of the effectiveness of Hex technology by this amazing footage, I don't know what else you need to see. This is the tail end of general deer season, and these deer have been hunted hard for months. Yet you can clearly see me setting in the open with deer only steps away. Then they watch me botch an attempt to draw my bow and launch an arrow in their direction, and still they stand around long enough for me to get an arrow out of my quiver, move around, get it on the string, and draw for the second time all with no reaction at all from the deer. Obviously at this point I didn't care which buck I was going to shoot. The bigger buck was off camera to the left but still well inside archery range but I chose to shoot the small buck that was still in plain view of the camera in front of me. The buck was hit hard and a second follow-up shot put him down for good. <laughs> tell you what, what an experience. I can't even tell you how long it's been since I hit my release by accident, but it happened tonight. And uh, these deer just stood around. Holy cow, look at this buck. Well, right there, that's the second shot. I probably didn't need it, but uh, anyway, uh, nice deer, you know. Good eight point, got a little thing on his, uh, on his eye guard there, but uh, the, the cool thing was that bigger deer came in as well. Had I not hit my release, that one would probably be laying here instead of this one. But you know what? I am happy. It's the last day here with Buffalo Creek Outfitters in Oklahoma. And these deer have been hunted since October. It is now December 15th. And we're still getting away with that. It is just unbelievable the kind of stuff that you can get away with by blocking your electrical field. So if you haven't tried hex, you need to try it. And uh, we always say we put the hex on another one. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and now better understand how well hex technology works even on the hardest hunt of whitetails. As we've seen countless times before, hex technology simply lets you have closer interactions on a much more regular basis and that equates to fuller freezers and many more special memories. If you want to see more, we have a lot of great encounters on our Hex Stealth Screen YouTube page. Or check out our brand new website at hexhunting.com to learn everything there is to know about our patented and proven technology. If you haven't yet seen the Hex Effect for yourself, or if you just want to expand your Hex lineup to include some of our incredible new products, go online or give us a call. In order to keep our prices low, Hex isn't available in any retail stores. So contact us directly, use a promo code for the best possible deal, and you'll be able to customize your Hex system to get exactly what you need to make this your best season ever. In the meantime, we'll keep pushing the limits and bringing it to you each week right here on Hunting with Hex. If you have an amazing Hex encounter you'd like to share, give us a call or go online. If we use it on the air, you'll be in the running to win an exciting hunting trip with a Hex crew. You can find out more on our website. While you're online, make sure to take a minute and check us out on our social media sites as well.